welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna make a two-story house, a salt box shaped house. So um, it's inspired by a real uh, house plan that I found on the internet. I will link it in the description. The house plan I got inspiration from. I uh, thought it was quite a cool style and uh, so yeah, I'm basically right now I'm building out the house plan and I'm gonna need to change it a bit later because I didn't get the, the roof to align in properly. And I, uh, I did a bit of adjustments too, so I don't really follow the uh, house plan completely. Uh, like it has a laundry room, but as there's no laundry function in The Sims 4 yet, I changed it and made it to a sauna instead. So, um, so it's not completely cr uh, exactly like the house plan is. Just... Uh, my own little touch, but it's followed mostly of the how the house plan is. So the salt box uh, shape is basically when the one side of the roof is basically longer than the other side of the roof. What I figured out on the internet when I read up on it. So uh, yes, yeah, so that's quite cool. And uh, yeah, trying to fit a fi fitting door here into the entryway because I wanted one thing with an archway that's round, but I couldn't find a really good one. But um. Oh well, that one had to do, even though the color's a bit off, but it's the best I could do at the moment. And uh, yeah, uh, this build also has a garage, but there's just no uh, cars in the Sims 4 yet. I had to <laughs> zoom in or uh, how to say it, make a in-game car, pay toy car, I mean, bigger. So uh, that's what I had to do. <laughs> So we can imagine, until they do arrive, the cars, we have a plan. Or we can pretend we have cars, or something like that. So, and on the top floor, you can actually, from the hallway, from the top floor, can look down into the living room, which is quite a nice feature. I like that a lot. So that's that's really cool. So here you see the car that basically extended the size off. And they use this garage door, so it's conveniently in the game now, since the... Uh, City living pack, so that's really cool. And yeah, forgot to activate the uh, move bits on cheat, so I had to do that, <laughs> of course. I always need in all my builds. <laughs> so, um, another great thing uh, I haven't told you guys about is that I found a solution. I found a solution to why my custom content uh, lamps and mirrors didn't work, and why the restaurant uh, in the restaurant you had to use uh, the in game or the uh, chairs and uh, tables you can use custom content chairs and uh, content this have actually some bugs but that sims 4 haven't bothered to fix but there is a solution there is a page called the sims studio dot the sims uh, sorry sims 4 studio dot com and uh, there you can download a little program that patches up game and fixes those problems so I'm really happy I can finally use custom content lamps again and custom content mirrors without having to worry that the script call failed which is the usual um, yeah faulty message you get when you're trying to use them so I'm really really happy and pleased about that I finally got a solution for that so that's that really makes me really happy so uh, that's great uh, so it's, I'm gonna post a link about it in a small description in the description so we can look at and how you use it that program so that's awesome that's brilliant I'm just so happy I found that uh, so it's a good tip for you guys out there that struggle had the same struggles as me <laughs> so I'm really happy about it so um, in this build now that I'm building here in the house I'm made a quite a big kitchen I feel it's really nice to have a big open kitchen uh, so the, bo the um, bottom floor is quite open uh, and I kind of like it. Usually uh, I'm more into enclosed rooms, like I want to have separate in dining room, separate living room, separate kitchen. But I think this build turned out quite good. Uh, it's quite nice. So I'm really pleased with that. And have a chimney as well. Uh, no, I mean, sorry, uh, open fireplace. Sorry. So and I thought it would look quite good and a TV, of course. I'm gonna. Sh I couldn't find a really good TV stand though, but one would have to do. So, yeah, that one. That one had to do. <laughs> That's the one. So yeah, and I use this uh, custom content surface that is actually matching the ones we had gotten in a pack before, because uh, 
usually what the Sims 4 does, or Sims in general does, or the EA Electronic Arts, is they release a few fu furnitures, like a few ones, and there's like just one or one ma ma matching piece or two matching pieces, and it's like, but I want a two-seat sofa to this three-seater and this uh, living chair, so it, that's why I have to use a lot of custom content to basically match the Max's content or. Max L M E A Electronic Art Max is no, no no longer existent really like that in the Sims franchise anymore, but um, yeah, so that's a lot of my custom content is basically Max's match to uh, match the things that's already in the game to uh, give it a broader option basically to yeah make stuff fit more together. Um, it's one of the reasons I started downloading custom content at the beginning on, ever since The Sims 1, actually. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I had a bit of trouble here with uh, doing the... I wanted to make this closet have a place there in the middle, but I couldn't do it because of diagonal shapes. I couldn't place it in, in that, and you can't use the alt key to move it into a specific position either. So, it was really annoying. So, instead, I used normal wardrobes and just placed them in an open arc, arc, arc way. What? Archway? Archway! That's the word. And unfortunately, it's a lot of this custom content, archways though, it doesn't work in diagonal shapes either. Uh, but I found one Max, uh, Le Maxis one, or Electronic Arts one. So that one fit in quite good. And a nice living chair in the corner too, just to give some more um, stuff on the floor. So it's not too much empty spaces. So trying to find an. I really like this mirror, but. It hangs too high up in the wall. You can't move it downwards. It's really annoying. It's like actually an in-game Max's. Uh, sorry, I keep saying Max's. Uh, electronic Arts mirror, and it's just. It just hangs on like on the ceiling, basically that high up. No person can see look into that mirror. But oh, maybe it's a, a custom content fix for that mirror somewhere. But I haven't bothered looking for it. To be fair, <laughs> maybe I'm lazy. I don't know. So um. Trying to decorate, yeah, of course, the trash bins, I always forget about that. Uh, this time I remembered, just in time. Yeah, placing out some flowers, some decorations. I really like those um, mirror tables that uh, reflect stuff that is just up on the top of it. So it's really cool looking, I really like that. So uh, this build is basically uh, three bedrooms in total. Uh, it's two double beds and one single bed. Um, so the rooms are quite... Uh, I mean, you don't fit that many things in that room, but at least the living space downstairs is quite big, so that's that's good. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not happy. The funny thing is <laughs> that living room, that this, this blue or grey bedroom, actually looks a little bit similar to somewhat I used to have in my when I lived in a basement with the uh, bookshelf standing like that. I used to have uh, three bookshelves or something like that. No, it was actually two. One was a bigger and one was smaller and it's standing in a corner just like that. And that, uh, I really like books. I think reading books is very important. Uh, and more people should do that. Um, yeah, so furnishing the little... Uh, I suppose, I would say this is a child's room. Uh, yeah, child's, maybe a girl's room, maybe a boy's room. No judgments. Um, so yeah, and I, f I, f I was really happy about the master bedroom. Unfortunately, the, the carpet doesn't really fit exactly with the colors. This annoys me a little bit, but I couldn't find anything better. So that one would have to do. That's it. It had to do. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Yeah, the carpet in the uh, hallway upstairs too, of course. And I was thinking, what should I do with this wall here? Because it's all white and it's big and it's just empty. And I was thinking first placing all those paintings. I'm going to change that later on. You'll see in a bit. Because uh, now wallpapers. The things I have hardest time dealing with is placing wallpapers. Finding a nice color that is matching and doesn't mismatch too much. So um, I found this grey once. Uh, I was really happy about it. It leaves a bit more industrial style to it. Uh, I think the one I went to in the end, actually. I'm just looking for more if I have some other options to go through. Uh, but instead, I managed to change the kitchen to this really nice brick. It's a really nice, warm, red brick color. I really like it. It's gorgeous. And I, to manage to fence it up, I used these um, poles or 
uh, how to call it? archway pools I don't know uh, to basically separate the kitchen a little bit from the living space so but I think it turned out great so yeah so I'm placing this I don't know no actually if they can walk over this fence I placed on the ground between the kitchen and the living room I hope they can because otherwise they're gonna be stuck <laughs> they can't go cook <laughs> Otherwise, it's just easy to remove it. So, um, yeah. So this, this is the sauna place instead of the laundry room. And uh, so it's a bit different in that part of the house because it was supposed to be a, a small bathroom and a, a laundry room. But so, yeah, I changed it. I really realized that I had these little kitchen clutters. And I was like, oh, they're gorgeous. Perfect. So I went for those little. I like using spices. Um uh, a lot of people have tend to, uh, lately at least, tend to use this kind of pre-mixed spice packages that you use mix into food. Like, I uh, like to do it from the first time. Basically, I used to grab the cumin, I grab the black pepper, I black, black the coriander. I, I, I do the spicing myself. So I know exactly what I have in it. I don't have unnecessary amounts of sugar in it, no unnecessary amount of salt, because usually in this kind of package, there's a lot of salt and sugar. Um... I don't know why, maybe to, I don't know, maybe to make it last longer, I don't know. But, uh, so, I do all the spicing myself when it comes to cooking, and I really do like cooking, I really do. So, that's one of my passions is life, or passion and passion, but I really do like cooking. Uh, so, lucky boyfriend I have, huh? <laughs> Anyone jealous? <laughs> no? <laughs> so, yeah, I said I went for that wall there, you see, I went for this... Um, wall divider or room divider basically and I thought it was quite cool it was given a nice pattern to the wall and even if they're clipped through to the other way of the staircase it doesn't much that matter that much I think it was a really cool uh, centerpiece basically to give some uh, abstraction or something to the to the room I was, thought it was really cool and I really love the uh, uh, wallpaper I used in the bedroom uh, in the master bedroom and also here in the master bathroom it's a really cool looking floor so I, Floor and wallpaper. So the floor is actually, I think it's from The Sims 2, if I'm not remembering, uh, that I used the Costa Compton from. I was really happy about that. In the other rooms, I just went for some uh, normal wall colors that's just uh, discreet. So that's what I went for. And um, yeah, so that turned out quite good. And uh, playing out some clutter, of course. So, yeah, I'm going to actually move some of the clutters later on in the child's living room because I wanted to place something else in there and it didn't fit on the page and they decided I wanted to have it on, so I had to move it. I really wanted to place some flowers hanging there, but I couldn't find any good ones and it made me really sad because I like flowers. Um, yeah, I was really happy about the master, uh, the master ba bathroom, uh, the bathroom in the, in the top floor. I was really happy about it because it was a really nice warm brown colour. It's really gorgeous. I really like it. So that makes me really happy. So uh, you're placing something on the wall because the room looked so empty. So just some posters. So right now I'm just doing the exterior wall. Here we go. And I realized I mean, that the, the night table was clipping out of the wall. So I had to move it out a bit. And uh, yeah, flowers, of course. I wanted to go for something bigger, but I couldn't find anything that was... Uh, in a good size, it was either too big or too small, but uh, so I went for the two small ones because it looked better in general. I wanted to go for a green roof because it was the same as also a green roof in the uh, house plan, so I was like, oh, might as well go for the green roof. It doesn't look too bad I, I, anyway, so I was quite happy about it. So the back side and the backyard, I wanted to make it something more uh, like a really nice grill area, a grill and chill out area, and I'm also going to make a pool. It's really cool. I'm really happy about that. I really like, oh, I like. A, would like to have a backyard like that. But I would like to have even more flowers than I did in this build because I really love flowers. Um, Yeah, here we go. I really like that uh, umbrella. Uh, do you call that umbrella? I don't know. Uh, it's just uh, weird. I don't know. If it, is it called umbrella? Because in game it's called umbrella, but I don't know if it's called... In Sweden we call it parasol, so I don't know. Uh... Well, in Sweden, an uh, umbrella is only what you use when you go out and it's raining. And that is called a parasol, just to protect it from the sun. So, I don't know. Maybe it's in English, the same word is for both things. Maybe. I don't know. I'm no clue. 
whatsoever. And I really like this hedge fence. It's really gorgeous. I really like it. It was really cute. Here we go. So sun protection when you're dining. Candles. I like candles too. Or some candles I do. Uh, like this in the in the enclosed uh, areas, like enclosed lamps and the, the lamp uh, lights in the lanterns. I like, but I'm not really a big fan of uh, open candles or candles that is like uh, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's just really weird. It's, uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, in the house, uh, I wanted to do something in the exterior lighting because it looked quite dark in the backyard, even if I had these candles out. So I went for these uh, exterior walls. This, this lighting just uh, goes up and down. I really like those. They're perfect for exterior builds and it's just gorgeous. And then trying to go for some other lamps just to give them more light. Um, now I'm exchanging all the lights in the house too. Uh, I really like these uh, small lamps that I use in the kitchen too. And this little big one. I've never used used it before in the build. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to use it. So I used it on that little uh, wall there. That was just, otherwise dead space. So otherwise I was thinking of picking a picture there. But this lamp was quite cool. So that one would have to do. Some lamps. Because... Uh, need light otherwise it's going to be very dark <laughs> no shit so in the sauna some nice lights there we go upstairs now yay there we go some table light yay i'm so happy i can use the custom content lamps yay i'm really happy about it you have no idea uh, it's a big relief for me because it's been so frustrating trying to build and like 80% of the lamps you have in game because their custom content doesn't work. It's been so frustrating. So now time for the gardening. And uh, yeah, it's not that much gardening as I would like to you do maybe, but I think it turned out alright anyway. So I tried to make, uh, use fences there to make as um, distinct uh parking space or whatever but uh they would access the border of the game and i couldn't be able to place the border all the way down to the street so i uh, just left it as it was of course the pool needs to have some dime board and be able to climb out of it oh, it's quite nice so we go and uh, the fence again i really like this little uh green fence it's uh, it's natural i like things uh, natural and and green and yeah it's it's lovely i like it so here we go with my uh, usual play playing stuff in layers everything must be stacked and in layers so it looks more um even and nice so it doesn't look like it's completely plastered on as i said in the numerous videos as well um so yeah just flowers plenty of flowers stack them on top of each other the more the better <laughs> so as i think <laughs> so yeah it's, it's quite um, i'm quite i'm quite happy with it to be fair and um yeah just painting out the brow paint and yeah basically this is how it is it's turned out that i'm quite happy with the result so yeah Sorry about that. Now you're going to see it a bit slower. It uh, went a bit too quick there with the video making, I suppose. But um, how you can see it a bit slower. And uh, I quite turn out quite, quite happy with it. Uh, the kitchen, the living room, and everything turned out just great. So I'm really happy and pleased with the house and uh, how the rooms turned out. So this house is also available for download on my uh, the gallery. So you're pleased to watching it. And thank you for guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.